What's up YouTube? I'm Vaughn and this is the Gear Channel where we discuss collectibles, hobbies, cabal games from tabletop to video games and today we are back with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Format Match Duel review and this time we have a new deck which is Baseball Kid and we're playing against Reasoning so I do have to admit we do suck quite a bit in this match but uh, we're against Reasoning so an FTK deck, you know what, they kind of deserve it, just a little bit, but not too much. So definitely if you guys enjoyed today's video, you know what to do, like and subscribe. So let's get into it and let's see who's going to be going first. So we're going to be starting and our opening hand is Heavy Storm, Foxfire. If you're not familiar with this, it's pretty much a monster when it's uh, destroyed by battle. You could be turning at the end phase, but the only thing is that it has to be face up at the start of the damage step. So you can't really like set it and hope it gets destroyed by battle. Then we have Solar Flare Dragon, we have Nobleman Cross Out, and Nobleman of Extermination, which is a really good card. Opponent has Sacred Crane, Dimension Fusion, Ceasefire, Chaos Sorcerer, and Monster Reincarnation. So not the greatest for them too. And we have Raging Flame Sprite, which is very good. They draw into Reasoning, of course. So then after, we're going to go and declare 8. They get Jinzo, uh, which is not so bad at the moment. But we're going to see where we're going to draw into and what we could possibly play around. So we go and Spells of Summon, just like that. At the end phase, we draw into Graceful Charity. Pretty nice. So we're going to activate Gravity Bind. Not really the best thing, but we're going to discard those two since we know our opponent's not really going to say any monsters. And then we're going to just summon, swing into it so we could take not that much damage. And then it's going to be only 13. And at the end phase, it's going to return spell summoning and defense. So at least we could build up a bit. So if we get into our uh, baseball kit, we'll be all set. Our opponent's going to tribute two, then go in normal. And then they're going to add back the reasoning. And then they'll pretty much have games since they have Chaos Sorcerer. And then they have that. And we didn't really have any trap card to play at the moment. Like if we had a Tarantula right now, but still Dimension Fusion would just bring everyone back and then we just like die from there so yeah pretty much uh, our opponents are going to summon and then that's going to be pretty much game after they go and like banish and then swing and then yeah so now into game two we are choosing to go first once again because you know this deck has to and it's go format okay or open hand grateful charity the link with duel so the flare compulse inferno and our opponent has blowback dragon giant trune reasoning once again sacred crane and monster gate Perfect. So we draw into Ultimate Baseball Kid. Perfect. So if you're not familiar with this guy, okay, he gains a thousand attack for each fire monster on the field except itself. Okay, uh, you can send one other fire monster to inflict 500. So it's pretty much just spamming and making this guy really big. And you will full total could summon him very easily as well. So that's pretty much the main purpose. And it's level three, so it's not affected by level of Mary B or Gravity Bind as well. So it's uh, decent. So Grateful Charity, we're going to draw it into... Ooh, that's actually really good. So we're going to Destruction and Power Greed. We're going to activate the Power Greed. Draw two. And then we're going to go Delinquent Duel. So we're going to roll. And let's see what we get. A nice little five. So that Monster Gate is going bye-bye. Okay. Next, we're going to go and just simply Normal. And then set two and pass to our opponent. So first off the bat, they're going to go and use Reasoning. Now we have no choice but to call Jinzo. So do you really get rid of um, Reasoning and the deck? Is that you always have to get rid of like the monster right away. So they can't abuse like the monster gate or abuse it for tribute summoning or stuff like that. So that's why. So first we're going to go and do that. They go Cannon Shoulder. I ask if he uses Pryo. He says no. I go Ring of Destruction. Done. Okay. And then we have Compulsive Follow-Up. Okay, now I did do some checking and Sacred Crane, like that's the only thing about this deck is that they don't really have like high defense on their level 4s or lower. So we're going to go and banish, make an Inferno, which is very nice. Okay, then we're going to summon the baseball kid, he becomes 25. We're going to attack with an Inferno, if you're not familiar, when this destroys a monster by battle and send it to the graveyard. It sucks that it says send it to the graveyard, so against like GOAT tokens it doesn't really do much. But it deals 15, which is... Quite a bit of damage, actually. So we're going to go and swing, swing again, and then swing another time for the 25. Perfect. And then our opponent is just going to emit defeat, which we're completely fine with. Okay, game three. Let's see. We're going to be going second. Our opening hand is Inferno, once again. Level limit area B, Raging Flame Sprite. If you're not familiar with this one, this card allows you to attack directly. And also, every time it deals damage, increase it by a 1,000 attack. Which this guy could potentially get pretty high. Torrential Tribute and Reinforcement of the Army. And yes, Ultimate Baseball Kid is a warrior. 
Then our opponent has Blowback Dragon, Lightning Vortex, Premature Burial, Metamorphosis, and Snatch Steel. So, and they draw into the Sacred Crane. So their hand pretty much counters like a lot of stuff that we have, but it's okay. So we have Graceful Charity. So we're going to go pretty hard off the bat because against Reasoning, they could explode quite a bit. So trying to deal as much damage as possible so they can't really abuse Dimension uh, Fusion is actually a good play. So we're going to go and do that. Our opponent's like, wow, Graceful Charity, three games in a row. And like, first of all, game one, it was like two turns after that we draw into like the Graceful Charity. So it wasn't really like off the bat. But also at the same time, I don't really uh, care because he's playing reasoning. <laughs> like, I, I can't really talk that much shit about the deck, but it's just like, like, we never see people play it. And also like back then, like it was a very expensive deck. Okay, so like. Uh, not a lot of people had that deck. So we're going to go Banish and then Premature, bring back the Solo Flare and then Ultimate Baseball Kid. So back. So pretty similar situation as uh, the last uh, game. So we're going to go attack with Infernal and then they're going to lose 15. And then we're going to go and attack with everything else. So we're going to take, uh, give them the 15 and then the 25. And then we're pretty much going to inflict 500 additional damage. Level limit area B. And then pass to opponent, and they're going to take 500. So they're at 15, so that all the dimension fusions are completely shut down. So they're going to go draw into Sakuretsu. They're going to Lightning Vortex us. We'll have no choice but to accept it. Yes, I know we don't really have any more resources left, but you know what? At least we're all set with that. So they're going to go Power Greed. Okay, we have Baseball Kid and MCT, so we're going to do that. Baseball Kid is going to attack. And then we're going to go and then set... No, we don't set the Tyrant. So that is very true because I didn't really want to commit too many plays in case of Heavy Storm. And then we pretty much just lose from there. So yeah. They go set the scapegoat. Now I feel a bit confident that we could like swing. And then if anything, if they don't do anything, then we just normal summon the Solar Flare and deal the additional 500. So not really that bad. Okay. So our opponent is going to go and take the 500 with Solar Flare. And then they're going to draw into Graceful Charity. So Graceful Charity. Okay. They decide to keep two Metamorphoses. Okay. And this is actually an interesting play. Okay. So the first Thousand Eyes Restrict is going to go and take a, a monster. Then the second one is going to go take another monster. And then they're going to Tribute both for that because uh metamorphosis doesn't stop uh, any other summon it's only the skip girl on that turn that you activate it but yeah so he gets uh chaos and he adds the graceful charity the only thing is i will hold on to that graceful charity because you're not really going to command to any place when you just summon the uh chaos magician so i will like hold it maybe just a bit but it's okay so reasoning discards the reasoning mm, okay and then after pass and then we're like okay set set pass to our opponent we're pretty high on life, so I wasn't like too scared at this uh, moment. Our opponent was very low. And they pretty much, the only tribute target would be like the chaos uh, thing for like normal summon, but then the tokens for like monster gate, so yeah. Okay, we're going to take the 28. And then we're going to pass and we draw into Ring of Destruction. You know exactly what that means. So we're going to just set, pass to our opponent, draw face. Boom. I don't know why people keep on doing like SP. There is plays you could do on the draw phase. So everyone keeps on like skipping to the SP. And I'm like, no, I do this on the draw phase. Like sometimes I do this, okay, just so like if I want to do an interaction before the uh, Sinister Serpent like triggers or stuff like that, I'll do that like first and then people will still move it. It's like, no, that's not how it works at all. But yeah, so after that, we actually win. I think it's about time we check the deck profile, eh? And here is our deck, as you can clearly see. You know what? It's pretty good. I like it. You know what? There's no complaints I really have about this deck. You know what? I love uh, Ultimate Baseball Kid. There's a few cool plays that you could do, especially your full turtle and then suppose summing this. And if you had other monsters on the board, uh, he becomes a really high beater. There's many times I just like swung with UFO Turtle first, and then after he dies, get the baseball kid with his a lot higher attack, and then just swing over something even bigger. And Inferno is quite good 1900 defense on top of that, so it's a high beater. Three Soul Affair because it pretty much locks your opponent too. I really like this uh, card a lot more than uh, Dust Tornado, that's why I have Dust Tornado Science in case of something much more heavier. Cold Wave. 
is really good. I won so many games because of this card that just stuns your opponent that I kind of want it into side. But the thing is, is that I usually side it in when I know 100% that I'm going like first in the game because it could change like the advantage quite a bit. Doesn't necessarily mean that I activate it like first. Like there's some cool games that I won was like I had Cold Wave, but I didn't activate it right away because I had like a few other like good cards that I want to uh, explore first play them and then on my uh next turn activate cold wave to ultigate uh for game so it's really good uh so far side it's good i'm trying out the dimension fusions and it's mostly in case if i'm uh against a heavy control deck that like i decide to start setting more of my stuff like the turtles and everything uh and then again like nobleman cross out or something like that and then i want to return them then i'm like okay return everything against a reasoning i would not play this like at all so if my stuff starts getting banished at least like their own dimension fusion will return all my guys and it would be a bit of an issue if i have multiple solar flare that is banished and definitely a uh, warrior command is quite good so it's like a skill drain but it doesn't affect our stuff since we have no flip effects so we could actually just uh roar command our opponent and then just start swinging without worrying about like flip effects that's going to be quite harmful as well and that's it for today's video if you guys enjoyed today's video you know what to do like and subscribe and if you want to see your matches reviewed here on the channel you know what to do follow me on my facebook group page and send me a link and i'll do a review here on the channel till next time i'm vaughn and this was the gear channel